Well, hey, thank you for uh, for joining this. Listen, I'm sorry you weren't able to to join the webinar. If you did, and you just get in this recap, this is a an abridged version of what I covered on the webinar. So I call it Discover Your Why, and we talk about before you can plan your way in life, you need to discover your why. So my name is Chris Baker, and it's my pleasure to, to take you through this to, tonight. So here was the agenda. What exactly is a why? The science behind the why? The benefits of knowing your why? Four clues to discovering your own why? Your why statement? What holds people back from getting what they want? And then the, the four secrets to the life you desire. So when I talk about what is a why, a why is a deep-seated purpose, cause or belief that is the source of our passion and inspiration. It, what, it, it's the, the thing that should make us wake up feeling inspired to go to work. And when we come home, we're feeling fulfilled by the work we've done. Happiness comes from what we do, but fulfillment comes from why we do it. All right now, this is a, a a switch from conventional thinking because we're taught to think what we do, not why we do it. So this is this is really what I want to cover. Now, I started my journey by understanding and, and researching Simon Sinek's Golden Circle, and you can see this video on YouTube. It's a, a, a TED talk that he did. Um, I think back in 2009, I think it was, and really the concept of what he talked about there is how most people think from this outer circle in. So they think from what, which is the result. What do you do? The result of why. They they will, will understand how they do it, which is the process. That's the specific actions being taken to realize the why. But very, very few people actually understand the why, which is the purpose. And that's what's the cause and what do you believe? Now, in this video, Simon uses the, the example of Apple. And if Apple were like most companies, they would start from the outside. They talk about why and they, what they do. And they say, we make computers. If they, they looked at the how, they'd say our products are beautifully designed and easy to use. But what they do is they concentrate on their why, which is we believe in challenging the status quo and doing things differently. Because there are so many computer makers, you know, whether you look at Dell and whatever, and they do a lot of other products, but they haven't got the reputation of Apple. And this is because Apple focus on their why. Now, there is science behind the why. The why and the how actually correspond to the limbic system within the brain. This is the, the, the part of the brain that, that formulates our behavior and our decision making. It works off feelings like trust and loyalty. And yes, it is the gut feelings. It's the instinct, right? And what we what we uh, we need to do when we under to, to understand our why is we need to learn to put words to those feelings. So, what is the benefit of knowing your why? Well, it's being cl able to clearly articulate what makes you feel fulfilled, to be able to understand what drives behaviour when at your best right so 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 when you're at your best and the behaviors that you're doing what's the actual driver behind that because that behavior is, ju is just a result you then be able to, to use your why as the base for all future decision making so in other words when you get a decision and we're faced with decisions every day will this de decision fulfill my why or will it not if it won't it's not the right decision. Even if it's the easiest decision, it's not the right one. And what this enables you to do is make intentional choices about the direction that you want to go so that you can live a meaningful life with purpose and on purpose rather than by default. And this is why I say when you find your why, you can then find your way in life. Now, John C. Maxwell, uh, my friend and mentor, uh, used this, and, and I took this from his book, Intentional Living. It says, if the why comes before the way, your ability to make a difference will come more quickly and immediately become more effective. You see, some people will say that, well, I, I can find my way and then I'll find my why. Possibly. All right, the, the challenge I have with that is that if, if you're on your way, how do you know if it's truly your way? I right. see most of us spend spend our life sort of going through the motions and, and chugging along without really understanding why we're doing what we're doing. Right. I can say that from my own personal experience, and it, it cost me probably 20 years of, of growth and development 
time. Right? The good news is it's no, never too late to actually start. So your why does lead to your way. Knowing your why allows you to focus on other people. Right? And Zig Ziglar says if you give other people what they want, you'll get everything you want in life. And when you're following your why, you'll be confident. And that confident will attract confidence will attract other people. You'll be able to layer your why and release your potential. That's why I call my business Release Your Unconscious. Because we, we all have that a massive amount of, of potential that is locked away in our unconscious mind. And I want to help people release that. And again, I can say from my why that, that in the two years that I've been studying this and really, really embracing this, my why has grown exponentially. What it enables you to do is become an influence and impact others. Right, so you'll be able to help other people to achieve what it is they want to do. And what it teaches you to do is actually play the long game. You need persistence. Right? This is a long game. You're not going to get anything significant overnight. Right? There is no quick route to success. If anybody tells you that, dismiss it because they're, they're actually deceiving you. They're just really interested in taking your money or whatever it is now. They're not interested in your long-term growth and development. So what are the four clues to discovering your why? Well, these are emotions and feelings. Right? So what makes you sad? What makes you deliriously happy? What do you dream about? And I don't mean sort of dreaming at night. It's like, what, what are your, 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 your biggest dreams? Right? If you could design and create your ideal life, what would it look and feel like? And then think of what one word best describes you. Now, part, part of this process will be going through and actually writing your own why statement. And the, this is two parts. Right? It's what's the contribution that you intend to make and what's the impact you want it to have. And it starts like this. Two, blah, blah, blah. That's the contribution. So that, blah, blah, blah. That's the impact you want to have. So let me show you mine because this is me living my why. This is a picture of me facilitating a, a session on, on Find Your Why um, to a, a, a local group. And my own why statement is to add value to other people so that they can become the best versions of themselves. Simple, broad, yes, intentionally so. My contribution is to add value to other people, to bring you content, to bring you learning that you can use so that the impact is that you can become the best version of yourself. That's what makes me happy. So what holds people back? This is feelings, right? Feelings of fear, of doubt, resignation, confusion, anxiety. Right? It's said that over 70% of people are not actively engaging in their jobs. And over 80, I think 85% of people say that if they wanted to, they could be more productive in their job. That's because they're not enjoying it. They're not engaged. They haven't got a why. They're on that hamster wheel going through the motions. Now, these feelings result in limiting beliefs, right? Beliefs of hopelessness. Beliefs uh, uh, that you're a victim. Belief that you're stuck. In other words, you, you can't do anything different. You know, you, you may believe that you're disrespected or believe that you're threatened. None of these are true. But because of the feelings you've got, that's the belief that you, you impose on yourself. Now, what we should be feeling are feelings of joy, excitement, of being wanted, being respected and being worthy. So here's four secrets that can that can help you. To move from those feelings of fear, doubt, frustration and confusion towards the feelings of joy, excitement um, and feeling worthy. The first one is clarity. So understanding what you are seeking and then see it, feel it, be able to describe it and then focus on it. Now focus, as the picture on the right shows, is follow one course until successful. Right? Too many of us believe that multitasking is the route to success. It is not. Right? Multitasking is the killer of success. Single tasking is what will bring you success. So focus on one thing. See it, feel it, describe it, live it, and then achieve it. Secret number two, you need direction. Right? You have to have guidance. You have to take one step at a time. 
This is crucial for your decision making, for understanding the, the route you're going and for being persistent. I, I, I liken this in my teachings to a GPS. Right, if, if you, we, we all use GPS, right? We use it on our phones now, Google Maps or um, whatever the, 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 the version that you use on there. But we rely on that to take us from where we are to where we want to go. Life is the same. Secret number three is taking charge. And people question me when I say this and say, you know, can I really take in charge of my life? Yes, you are in control of your life. You are in control of your destiny. But you need to know yourself before you can take charge. You need to be decisive in where it is you want to go and why you want to get there. You need to grow self-belief and self-confidence. Because if you don't believe in yourself, why should anybody else believe in you? And then secret number four is to know your why. Now, any, any of the classic books that you look at, whether it's As a Man Thinketh, Think and Grow Rich, all of the, these books, they all talk about these sort of words as purpose, desire, thoughts. But they need to be backed up with actions and that will bring you significance. But if you don't know your purpose, if you don't know your desire, if you don't ever dream about what it is you truly want, I guarantee one thing, you will never achieve it. Right? You can't go to a, um, a, a, call a taxi driver and, and bring him to, he goes to the door and say, take me wherever you want to go. He won't take you anywhere because he doesn't know where you want to go. You can't go to your GPS system and put press go and, and it, ask it to, to, to take you a route unless it knows where you want to go. Right, and why do you want to go there? What's the objective? So secret number four is knowing your why. So what's next? Well, you need to live your life. But for you to live your life, you need to know what you want. You need to know why you want it. You need to start taking action. Right? That's intentional action. And intentional action is making the decisions based on what you know you want and why you want to do it. Rather than just letting other people dictate your, your life for you. You need to associate with the right people. Right? The law of attraction is real, folks. It is real. When you start to, to think about what it is you want, why you want it, and you're dreaming that, you're seeing it, you're feeling it, believing it, you will attract people to you that are of that same mindset. But you need also to seek people that are of that same mindset and associate with those people. And then the last one, it's not an advert for, for Nike, is just do it, but I added on the end of that, do it now. So there you go. That's a recap of the of the webinar. The choice now is yours. Do you want to raise to the higher expectations of your inner self? Or are you happy living under the average limitations imposed on you by other people? I'm guessing because you've watched this or you've watched the webinar that, that you are ready to rise to the greater expectations. So what's your email? I'm going to give you a very special offer. And I hope you take advantage of it. Because I would love to be on this journey with you and take you to where you want to be. As I say, the choice is yours. We're faced with choices every day. Good is not good enough. You want to be looking at better and you want to be looking for best. So thanks for watching and I will look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now.